Hi, it's Jen and I'm paranoid. So I'm going to do a little walkthrough of my plan with me for November and my bullet journal. So I had to start a new bullet journal because I finished my old one. So I went in and entered my key and started my index. I put in my future log. So just jotting down for future events. And then I did another spread where I uh, put down books to read, places, uh, podcasts to check out, um, other things like that. And some a place for YouTube ideas because I'm starting to do some more videos. <coughs> Pardon me. And then I have another spread. It's for places to go or, or places I went actually. So you write down the destination, the date and your favorite memory of that place. Now I also had, just before I turn the page, another little spread for art and drawing ideas that I might want to have. Now this spread is uh, a recreation of the idea of Amanda Ratchley's uh, video for her plan with me in November. She did a coffee theme. So I've been following her bullet journal setups and I really love her artwork and her design and creativity. So. This is a recreation of her design and I'm going to link her website, her YouTube channel and in, in an iCard and I will also put it in the description below so you can check out her videos. There's so many. She's such a wonderful artist. I love her creativity. So anyways, this theme for this month is coffee. If you didn't, you weren't guessing it. <laughs> um, so she did an idea where uh, she did some coffee stains on uh, her uh, opening spread for November and I tried it on another piece of paper and I didn't like the effect I was getting so what I, I did do was uh, trace the coffee stain and then I transferred it into my bullet journal here and then I used some Tombow markers, <coughs> excuse me again, to um, color in the coffee stain. So I had two browns, uh, a lighter brown and a darker brown. And I thought I would use the lighter brown mostly because I like uh, that color for my uh, quote unquote coffee stains. So. Here we have, I just do, I just, like I said, traced to some coffee stains and then put a little uh, quote and she had a quote, uh, was called uh, change the world, start with coffee. But you know, I thought I'd take on some power and I wrote, I'm taking over the world, but first coffee. I don't know if anybody has remembered Pinky in the Brain, you know, that cartoon. And, what are we going to do tonight? You know, Pinky? Same thing we do every night. Take over the world. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if I have a quote right. <laughs> but I thought it was funny. So I put that in. Because, you know, I do like to start my day with a good cup of joe. And I do like my coffee. First cup is always the best cup. So as I continued on, I did uh, like a little coloring uh, and then I wrote with the Tombow Fudinuske if I say that right please uh, I think I am but we'll see I did the the lettering for November with the, the Tombow Fudinuske marker and then I used some a Sigma jelly roll pen to highlight the letters and then as well uh, continuing on all around the word November um, just varying coffee cups, uh, cold coffees, hot coffees, cafe mocha. That's my favorite. I love cafe mochas. Oh, um, or a mochaccino. Uh, just varying coffees like that. They're they're so good. I do like a good good coffee. So. As we continue on, now I don't know if this, this is ASM, ASMR quality, but I've been told my voice has a soothing 
quality to it and maybe perhaps you're just listening to this and drifting off to sleep but so be it i i will keep talking and try and fill up some dead space and lull you to sleep hopefully the call the coffee drawings i'm doing are not dancing in your head and distracting you so as i as we continue on this uh if i hadn't said it before this is a recreate recreation of amanda ratchley's november spread do check out her many videos of bullet journaling i found her in i think um, january of 2019 and i loved her creativity as I've said before, and I started following her and uh, recreating her spreads in my own Burla journals. So I really, I really do like it. I, I like drawing, and so this is really um, um, right up my alley because there's so many things you could be doing in your bullet journal, and you don't have to follow along some with somebody, but. Uh, it's it's nice to to see what other people are doing and you know YouTube has so many creators doing bullet journals and uh, you can find so much inspiration there now I did go check out the creator of the bullet journal Ryder Carroll and I have his book and I'm rereading it and rereading it and so you don't need to be an artist. You can just do uh, minimalistic uh, like he does. He just, you know, follow, does uh, the method and it really works for him. And I'm really liking it. And I like the, the um, uh, flexibility um, in doing a bullet journal. I can add more pages in instead of... Uh, sticky notes uh, I could just it it just opens up a whole brand new world for me so this page next is the month uh, as seen in full so uh, the boxes I did um, are five by five in the dotted notebook spacing and then continuing on with the coffee theme I used the, the Tombow marker for the lettering and to draw the boxes for uh, each date I used a, a pig, Sigma Micron or pig, Pigma Micron marker uh, in brown. I mean you might not be able to see it very well uh, but instead of using a black one I used a brown one. And then continuing on, adding in some more drawings of coffees and uh, hot and cold coffees. And then putting a little dot for lettering and using the white gel pen to write the number for each month. And then the next spread I started was the Habit Tracker. And I used my new acrylic stamp set and I colored it with the light brown Tombow marker and then stamped it down and then I realized after as I was stamping that November does not have 31 days so <laughs> uh, I looked at all my little acrylic stamps and they all have 31 days it's just the varying when it starts uh, at the very beginning of the month so I don't know if they come in um, shorter ones, but I'm sure you can get them. So I what I just used a, a Pigma Micron white gel pen and I just colored over the, the 31st. And so I did nine uh, boxes uh, and wrote down various things that I want to keep track and, you know, develop good habits in. And I don't know if you can notice in one spot in the second row as I was going to place the stamp I dropped it <laughs> so there's a little a little boo-boo there 
a little smudge and then I used the uh, markers afterwards to just put in some uh, some more um, detail that the stamp might have missed and I continued on uh, decorating the page with little more some more little coffee theme cups you know I, I'm really liking the the brown uh, theme this month last month October was black and white so now this is lower like more brown coffee brown and uh, white so I'm liking uh, the color combinations uh, that are coming out in this monthly spread and so on the next page I don't do a mood tracker I do um, something I started uh, a month well, was it last month or two months no I started in September and I write down all of, uh, something good that happened each day I mean it could be just something that uh, like uh, my coffee was good I mean if I'm gonna write coffee is good you know for 30 days in a row so be it that was a good thing that happened that day for me so maybe this is something you'd like to like to do I do have something else that I do is is um, a good things that happened jar and I bought some colorful paper and I just write down uh, something good that happened it could be you know I found a good deal or something and I just at the end of the year I empty the jar and I read out all the good things that happened in that year to me and relive that happy memory I do that on the 31st of December and then on January 1st my jar is empty ready to be filled up with more good things that are going to happen in the year so this is the first weekly spread now um, I don't know what other little things I'm going to be doing but this is just uh, one for each day of the of the week starting uh, this week on the Monday November 4th and then so if it's just just little coffee cups and then a black dot and I'm using a white jelly roll pen to write in the date or the number of the day and then uh, the last box on that page it just says for notes so that's coming to the end of my November plan with me and so now I'm going to give you some pictures of each finished page finished spread for November the month the whole month out the habit tracker with the good things which I called good stuff and then the first weekly spread I hope you like my first plan with me bullet journal spread <music>